of screens on sleep. You know, people are exposing their eyes to this stream of photons from these objects that basically tells your brain, stay awake, it's not time to go to sleep yet. So it's 10 p.m. The impact of screens on sleep. You know, people are exposing their eyes to this stream of photons from these objects that basically tells your brain, stay awake, it's not time to go to sleep yet. So it's 10 p.m., it's 11 p.m., it's 12 p.m., you're checking for email, you're looking for text, you're doing all these things. That light beams in you. It tells your brain, don't secrete melatonin yet. It's not time to sleep. And you're up at 12, 30, or 1, you're checking some more because you're up after all, why shouldn't you check? Now, you go to bed at 1, you wake up at 6, get ready to work, that's five hours of sleep. We now know that what sleep is likely doing is allowing your active neurons to rest, which is fine. But more than that, the supportive cells, called glial cells, are now cleaning up the toxins that the neurons produce. And if you don't get from seven to nine hours of sleep, you just get five, the toxins remain there for over 95% of people. There are small percentage of people who are genetically different, they don't need that much sleep, but for the vast majority of us, we need seven to nine hours of sleep. So even though it's like a badge of courage, I only had three hours of sleep last night, and I'm working today, it makes your attention falter, your memory is impaired, your ability to think through problems is challenged, your insulin even, that helps regulate your metabolism, is turned upside down so you're more likely to gain weight from what you eat and eat more. And then, if that weren't enough, it's actually toxic to the connections in your cells. So, in your brain. So what you want to do is prioritize sleep. Shut off your screens, let's say by 9 p.m. Give your... So what he's saying there is that your phone, the blue light from your phone, actually stops your brain from going to sleep. And then without that sleep, um, you don't, you don't, your body doesn't, your brain doesn't have a chance to clean up. What? Um, so the idea is to turn off your mm -hmm. she's uh, the best idea is to turn off your phone an hour before bed so that you have your brain has time to clean up and relax before you go to bed and not sleep with your device in the room. Unplug every day, once a week, do a yearly cleanse, if you will, where you have even a month where you don't look at your device. And make sure that your friendships are still strong offline. There's great things online. You can report anything that harms you to racebullying.ca. Uh, Prevnet.ca has bull online bullying resources for parents, for children, for teens, for all age groups. And the kids' help phone is also a good resource if you need help. Cybertip.ca is for anything with sexual exploitation, or you can take a look at my website. There's all sorts of cool things online. MIT University, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, it's one of the most famous universities in the States for technology. They now offer all of their courses online for free. So you can go and audit any course at MIT see the lectures in podcast form, and see all of the content without ever leaving, without ever leaving the village, and without ever having to pay for the courses. <coughs> There's also uh, the National the Center for Truth and Reconciliation has a great website, and all of the work, as Secret Path from Gordy Downey, who I am a huge fan of, has a great website. Um, the cartoons and all the songs that he did um, are beautiful. And there's also something called TeacherTube that only has videos that have to do with uh, actual um, uh, content that has to do with school. And that's all I got. There's also, um, I don't know if you've heard of a website called First Voices. Yeah, they have an app. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've used that in many um, uh, territories where I've gone, just so that I can learn a few words before I go someplace. It's great too. Does anyone have any questions? Or thoughts? Or 
disagreements. Ooh. Like correct something that I said? What do you think? What did you guys think of the uh, presentation? Thumbs up. What did you like about it? Tell me one thing you like about it.